All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be going over some very sensitive information from the codebook, which often hurts a lot of people's feelings. But before I jump into that, I just want to say the biggest congratulations to Stephen, aka the Mad Electrician. Congrats so much on passing your journeyman exam on the first try. Huge congrats, dude. So happy for you. And once again, thank you so much for letting me borrow your microphone, as always. I'll get that back to you in a couple weeks. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be talking about Code Article 314 from your NEC. And this is probably from the 2020 version, um, the, the latest codebook version um, as of a few days ago. So anyways, I'm going to be going over that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so this is a picture sent from Steven from his codebook, which is the latest version, um, which he just used to take his test. Code article 314, length of free conductors at outlets, junctions, and switch points. Right there, as you can see, underlined at least 150 millimeters, six inches of free conductor, measuring from the point in the box where it emerges from its raceway or cable sheath, shall be left at each outlet, junction, and switch point for splices or the connection of luminaires or devices where the opening to an outlet junction or switch point is less than 200 millimeters, eight inches in any dimension. Each conductor shall be long enough to be extended at least three inches outside of the opening. And I'm not sure what that eight inches is referring to, um, but anyways, it does also mention each conductor shall be long enough to extend three inches outside the opening. And I'm not sure if that's referring to the eight inch or just three inches in general. But either way that I do it is going to cover both of those requirements and I'm going to show you guys exactly what that means right now. All right guys so this is how much wire is required to be inside of your box. Measure it six inches right there. There you have it and I would remind you guys that you do need a quarter inch of sheathing inside the box so you can strip your six inches all the way here and then you can leave your uh, quarter inch right here. So you just have to strip the six inches then you can leave this quarter inch inside of the box. And that's going to fulfill your code requirement. As you can see, you have your quarter inch on the black mark of sheathing, and then you have your six inches of free conductors right there. So this is legally all you are required to have inside of the box. And although this is the requirement for the code, it is probably not the best way to do it and the easiest. Um, so I'll show you guys my way of how I do it. So once I get my wires inside of the box and pushed into the bottom left corner right here, I like to take about four fingers and then cut it off. Um, and let me explain that. that. That is just a given measurement that is a universal amount that it's not gonna change. So once you pick a measurement, you can do three fingers if you want, four fingers, but four fingers gives you a little bit extra. The four fingers, which is about two and a quarter inches, this is more than enough pre-pigtail. Um, this is your eight inches and once again, like I said, depending on how you determine what is outside the box, if you just bend it straight up, you're going to have six inches outside the box. If you bend it to the bottom of the corner and then bend it up, then you're going to have your two and a quarter to two and three quarters. So you can leave a little bit longer if you want, if you want the, if you want it bent down to the corner and then three inches, or if you're just going to bend it straight up out of the box and call it good then you'll have your six inches. So it's really just up to your interpretation, but the non-negotiable bottom line is six inches inside of the box and your quarter inch sheathing inside of the box. I'm not sure what the three inches refers to outside of the box, but if you want to leave a little bit longer um, after you bend it down and then bend it up, um, you'll not have any problems ever with any inspector or anything like that then you'll be hitting both of the requirements. So hopefully this helped you out, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for listening and considering the real truth here. All right, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, hopefully you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video and it would tremendously help out the channel if you did. Don't forget to look down below in the description for anything else. Um, in the link tree, like my social medias, like Instagram, all that good stuff. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. That's all our time for today, guys. Thank you so much for yours. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.